What's up, everybody? We're back. This is EXCR round five. This place was a doozy. It was so rough. After the race, I was looking to see if anybody could make me that potion from Harry Potter. The one that gives you new bones. Because mine have been turned into dust. He needs some milk. That might just be me, though. Because admittedly, going into the race, my workouts had been different. Specifically in the way that I hadn't been doing them. Taco Bell diet is fully back. The shame that I feel. I have a problem. Still gonna line them up, though. 400 standing tall. Beautiful summer day. Who cares if I've been hitting the number sevens a little too hard? Let's do some racing. That was a super fun battle with Zack to start the race off, but I overcooked it. The arm pump was here, and it was powerful. I had to go into damage control to prevent my arms from turning into stone, and it wasn't even the end of the first lap. Blame it on the grilled cheese burritos, if you must. I know my truth. The good news was, after 25 years of riding quads, I think I finally figured out one of the things that triggers my arm pump. During that opening skirmish, I sat down a lot, thinking that I was conserving energy since my legs haven't been getting used much. Thought I'd save them for the end like wild thing. But that sitting body position makes me use my hands for most of the steering effort. The end result being that my fingers get stiff and slow and weak. It's hard to hang on. It's hard to squeeze my brakes and my clutch. It's hard to push my throttle. It's hard to ride. There's a reason that some of the top guys in every genre of motorcycle racing get surgery to prevent this. Arm pump is a cruel mistress and she had my number, but I had the whole race left. So I just had to try to breathe and relax my grip and settle into a strategy that I'm all too familiar with. Survive!
right here that my GoPro died. And, unfortunately, so did my battery. After the race, my mechanic determined that my stator had gone bad, and I guess my battery just wasn't charging the whole race. I stalled and had to push start the quad three times to finish my last lap, one time with a ton of help from a track crew guy named Derek. Thank you so much. I was still just barely able to squeak out the win in the sport class. I got home and got the stator fixed for the next race and definitely didn't have any other problems. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you. And consider subscribing. Almost 80% of you aren't subscribed. Come on and give Dad Speed a little clicky. I really do appreciate every single one. Channel is growing faster than I expected, and it's because of you guys, so thank you. We've got updates on the Raptor coming up, some more racing as always, and some other projects in the future that I can't wait to announce, so keep checking back. Thanks for watching Dad Speed. Out. Die. Whoa. Say speed. Beep.